Buenas noches, mi gente. I was, um, I'm sorry this is, this video is so late, but I started back at my university. This, I'm sorry, this is Deborah Quetzpal Vasquez, and I am bringing you the new moon ritual. As I was saying, I started back at my university, and we have deadlines, we have all these things going on. So, uh, the new moon was yesterday, and so uh, you can still do it today, and that next day and so i wanted to make sure and get this to you it's going to be short i'm just going to tell you what you need if you need to uh if you need what you need for this moon uh which is the moon in virgo so after that just go back and check out my other videos on how to do the ritual and then you can um take it from there uh you'll need a brand new journal if it's your first time an ink pin white candle sage Palo Santo is optional, Chakra Incense is optional, and Healing Crystal is also optional. Um, how you proceed is you light a white candle, you light incense if you're going to use it, you take off your shoes, you smudge around your area, you smudge your whole body, especially your feet, and then you smudge your new Mesli Nueva journal, or if it's uh, this is like the second or third time you're doing this with me, then uh, you just... Um, smudge your, your journal. Uh, burn some Palo Santo to introduce new energy if you have it. If it's your first time you're consecrating uh, your journal, make sure and look at that video. And if it's not, then uh, let's continue on. You can open up your journal, you can look at all all of the things you've wrote in the past, see what is manifesting, see what it's not, and then you can go ahead and manifest again. Uh, you can write that in at the end. What you ask for in Virgo is for things like your physical health, exercise, work, job, efficient organizing, clear discrimination, helpfulness, order, um, and relaxing that perfectionism that we really uh, adhere to. So always ask for things in the positive, never in the negative, okay? The, in the matters of restoring health in Virgo, it Virgo uh, is known for helping with bowels and intestines, constipation and diarrhea, uh, digestion and assimilation, and your solar plexus. You know, right here, la boca del estomago, where you, you know, how your abuelitas or your tias or even your mom, uh, te curaba de empacho, right? Uh, when things get stuck there, uh, usually because we eat too much white bread or tortilla de harina. So. The, the way you can ask for it is, I will have total health in the area of my, and you can say your bowels, you can say your intestines, you can say your constipation, whatever it is, digestion, your solar plexus, uh, whatever it is you, you want to, or all of it. Okay. Then you will can say something like, I will easily, or write something, right? I will easily take action to successfully restore my, you can say your full body, or you can say your intestines and all of those things that Virgo is uh, able to help with. You write those things down and you put to perfect health and beauty. So Virgo helps a lot with physical health. Have you ever know Virgos are, sometimes they're like exercising a lot. I know I had a, a friend who, uh, who just loved to exercise, she's a Virgo. Uh, it helps with diet, exercise, establishing good health habits, weight control, healing, and also helps you connect with healers. Uh, the way you can ask for that is I will be attracted to and consuming only those foods that are low fat, low calorie, and healthy for my body. Or I will easily do uh, either like aerobics, yoga, weight, uh, lifting exercises for a minimum of, I don't know, four times a week or one hour a day, whatever it is you, you intend to do. Uh, also, I will easily establish my weight at whatever that is, whatever your ideal weight is, uh, in a healthy way that's beautifying for my body, okay? That's something that makes, makes you feel sick. Um, I will easily establish routines that lead to vibrant health. I will um, easily attract, recognize, and begin working with healers who can successfully help me restore my body to perfect health. That way you get away from people who are not helping you. Um, I will easily attract, recognize, and begin taking herbs, vitamins, minerals that will help me restore my body and mind to perfect health and vitality. All right, with work, Virgo can help with work. 
Uh, jobs, work projects, tasks and errands, co-workers or structured routines. The way you can ask for that is like I will easily attract, recognize and begin working at the right job for me. I will easily find myself completing work projects with a minimum of stress and a maximum of efficiency. I would leave out that stress, I think, on rethinking that. I will be filled with healthy self-confidence in every aspect and every area of my job. I will easily find myself adapting an attitude that allows me to enjoy work. Sometimes we really, we really feel badly about going to work and as soon as we feel badly about going to work, it's gonna go get worse and worse. Um, I will easily find myself creating a routine that gives me plenty of time for work, play time with my family and, and then you can put whoever's name in there, okay? We, want to, we need to find a balance. I will be timely. I will easily find myself saying the right words to my coworkers that lead to mutual respect, support, and cooperation, and whatever else you want to say. Okay, so uh, creative organizing, orderly environments, handling, de handling details, efficiency and planning, paperwork, and punctuality. These are the things you can write. I will easily create neatness and order in my home. I will easily pay all my bills on the first, 15, wherever you get paid of each month. I will easily organize my paperwork and com complete all my filings or organizing your computers, depending on what you use, and throw or delete anything that you don't need. I will be on time or I will be either early or on time. I will easily restore my environment to order on a daily basis, making sure everything is straightened out before you, you go to bed. Um, I will plan clearly to empower myself to successfully reach my goal of whatever that is. Discrimination. Orderly environment, that, that means orderly environments, handling details, efficiency, planning, uh, paperwork, punctuality. Uh, the way you can say that is you will uh, easily analyze the problem of blank in a way that produces productive, happy results. I will clearly and easily analyze my situation with blank, whoever that is. I will easily and accurately discern what is important to me and what is not. I will easily focus on and appreciate the opportunities that are being offered to me. I will easily and consistently focus on the here and now moments, using it to make my dreams come true. So let's talk about service, willingness to adapt, practical help, helpfulness, uh, purity of intent, and conscientiousness. Uh, I will consciously feel satisfaction from being of service to others in my work. I will easily adjust to the blank situation, whatever that situation is, in a way that is in my best overall interest. I will uh, easily find myself doing my part to bring order and calm to my environment. I will easily find myself being conscientious, aware of not interfering in others' activities. Um, I will consciously be aware of the purity of my intention to benefit others. Okay? Synthesis. That's a desire for perfection, bringing order out of chaos, uh, processing or uh, the ability to see how things fit in. If you can clearly see how things fit, then you can make better decisions. And this is how you can write this. I will easily be aware of and accepting of good fortune when it comes to me. I will easily focus on what is right in my life. I will easily take hold, which means seeing and following practical actions in the issues of whatever blank that is, whatever it is. I will easily process my relationship with blank, whoever it is, in a way that leads to total healing for myself, for me. Uh, I will clearly see the situation with blank in a way that shows me how to bring order to that situation. Um, I will accurately and clearly see how the pieces fit in the situation of, and then, and that's blank, I will easily focus on the positive results I want to create in the situation of. Okay, let's move on to excessive perfectionism. That makes us worry, it's criticism, blame, judgment, and then those people also have workaholic tendencies. 
actually we all have it. Well, not some of us, but most of us. Uh, the way you can uh, talk about that or uh, write that is I will stand free of critical judgment of myself and others. I will be positive and use only positive language. I will take responsibility for my actions. I will live in a balanced, happy life. Okay, so after that you can manifest, you can write anything you want that you need to manifest. These are just the things that we need to, for this, this, this moon gives us all of these things and helps, extra help for that, okay? Um, then after you're done with writing whatever you're gonna write, you're going to seal it, okay? You're gonna close it, put your hand over it and say, oh, sorry, not really, that's the new moon, I mean the full moon. Uh, I. What you're gonna do is write. After you write everything you have to do, you're gonna write, um, I give thanks to the universe for all of these new moon intentions, fully manifesting in divine time, an absolute perfect alignment in my highest good and the highest good of all involved. Así sea, or so it is if you don't speak Spanish, okay? So I wanna give thanks to, uh, then you close it and you put it away and you don't look at it again, okay? Until the next new moon. Okay, so I want to give thanks to Jan Spiller's New Moon Astrology, Universidad Nahuatl in Ocopodepec, Mexico, the Mexica and Mayan culture, and the Olmeca culture, actually. And um, But there's also, I want to give thanks to YouTubers out there that are doing this work also, like Melanie Santos, Pretty Boss, and uh, countless others. Look at all of their their uh, YouTubes and see what is attractive to you or what fits with you, okay? so. One of the things that I want to make sure that you do is to do the actual full moon ritual because not only do we want to manifest, we have to let go of things. I know people aren't that crazy about letting go of things, but it's really good for us to do that. Um, we can't receive if we can't let go. All right, so make sure and do that. I want you to subscribe to my channel if you like this, what you're learning, and um, give my channel a like. So thank you very much and I'll see you at the full moon.